We begin tonight with federal authorities now revealing what they say was a plot to kill Donald Trump. A man driving across state lines, showing up at a rally in Las Vegas and reaching for an officer's gun. ABC News obtaining a federal complaint. Authorities say that man told the officer he was there to get Trump's autograph. And that's when he tried to get the gun. ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas leading us off. As the Donald Trump rally got underway this weekend at the Treasure Island Hotel and Casino, a young man approached a police officer stationed at the event and asked for an autograph. Then, without warning, the man went for the officer's gun, trying to take it away, only to be quickly subdued. Authorities now say that Michael Sanford, 19, allegedly told the Secret Service that this was an attempt to kill Trump. A complaint obtained by ABC News claims Sanford, who has a British driver's license, had been planning to assassinate Trump for about a year. He allegedly told the Secret Service he had driven from California to Las Vegas on June 16th to kill Trump after seeing news reports that the candidate would be there. A day later, he went to a Vegas gun range to learn how to shoot. It's the latest security scare involving Trump, who also had a man try to rush the stage of an Ohio rally in March. And Pierre Thomas has been talking with his sources at the Secret Service. Pierre, no word on a motive you were telling us, but federal authorities say there was a backup plan? David, that's right. No word on motive, but he allegedly told the Secret Service that he, if he were on the street tomorrow, he would try this again. And he allegedly said if he did not get a chance to attack in Vegas, he had a backup plan to go to an upcoming Trump rally in Phoenix, Arizona, to try to kill Trump there. David?